Hello everyone, I'm going to be talking about the nursing theorist Myra Estrin Levine, presented by me, Riza May Guevara. So who is Myra Estrin Levine? Myra Estrin Levine was born in Chicago in 1920, the first child in a family of three siblings. Her involvement throughout her father's persistent gastrointestinal illness contributed to her interest in and devotedness to nursing. Aside from being a major influence in the nursing profession, Levine was also a family woman, friend, educator, administrator, student of humanities, scholar, enabler, and confidant. She was creative and knowledgeable, opinionated and global in her concept of nursing. Myra Esther Levine's Contribution in Nursing Profession Levine developed the four conservation principles. In this model, the goal of nursing is to promote adaptation and maintain wholeness using the principles of conservation. The model guides nurses to focus on the influences and responses at the level of the organism. Nurses accomplish the theory's goal through the conservation of energy, structure, and personal and social integrity. The concept. The fundamental concept of Myra Estrin Levine's theory is conservation. When an individual is in a phase of conservation, it means that the person has been able to adapt to the health challenges with the slightest amount of effort. Here are the key concepts of Myra Estrin Levine's theory. The core of the conservation model is to improve the physical and emotional well-being of a person by considering the four domains of conservation she set out. Nursing's role in conservation is to help the person with the process of, quote-unquote, keeping together the total person through the least amount of effort. Levine, 1989, proposed the following four principles of conservation. Number one, the conservation of energy of the individual. Number two, the conservation of the structural integrity of the individual. Number three, the conservation of the personal integrity of the individual. Number four, the conservation of the social integrity of the individual. Here's a quote from Levine. The conservation principles do not, of course, operate singly and in isolation from each other. They are joined within the individual as a cascade of life events, churning and changing as the environmental challenge is confronted and resolved in each individual's unique way. The nurse as a caregiver becomes part of that environment, bringing to every nursing opportunity his or her own cascading repertoire of skill, knowledge, and compassion. It is a shared enterprise, and each participant is rewarded. Levine, 1989. Here's a model of Levine's conservation model. As you can see, the conservation of impersonal integrity, conservation of energy, conservation of structural integrity, conservation of social integrity all tied into intervention, therapeutic slash supportive. And then it goes into client's adaptive response, which also goes into physical being, physiological being, and psychosocial being. Here are the four conservation principles of conservation of energy. It refers to balance between energy expenditure and conservation. Patient activity is dependent on energy balance. Illness increases energy demand and that increased energy demand can be measured by the level of fatigue. Energy is measured in everyday nursing practice via body temperature, blood gases, pulse, and blood pressure. Fluctuations determine either energy expenditure or conservation. The balance is brought by proper rest, adequate hydration, inhaling of clean air, proper nutrition, and exercising. Next, here are the four main principles of conservation of structural integrity. It is focused on preserving the anatomical structure of the body and preserving healing. It refers to maintaining or restoring the structure of body, preventing physical breakdown and promoting healing. It changes in structure ultimately affect function that structural integrity may be compromised by pathophysiological processes and that healing restores structural integrity. Therefore, to regain structure and function, the body needs to restore structural integrity through repair and healing. Nursing intervention aims in helping the individual to prevent skin breakdown and limiting the amount of tissue involvement in infectious disease. Examples include A. Maintenance of clean, dry, wrinkle-free linen. B. Regular turning of patients side to side every two hours to patients who are bedridden. C. 
Perform ROM exercise. D. Maintenance of patient's personal hygiene. Now, here are the four main principles of conservation of personal integrity. A client is a person with dignity, sense of identity, and self-worth. Individual strives for recognition, respect, self-awareness, selfhood, and self-determination. Individuals require privacy and are responsible for their own decisions. Illness and hospitalization compromise personal integrity, self-identity, and self-respect. Person's integrity is compromised when the individual becomes dependent. Nursing interventions include protecting and respecting patient privacy, possessions, and defense mechanisms, and supporting personal choice. Examples include A. Expression of patient's feelings B. Involvement of patient in plan of care C. Focus on self-aspect by not comparing to others D. Reinforce positive traits E. Promote socialization in such a way he can develop positive self-esteem F. Recognize and protect patient space needs. Lastly, here are the forming principles of conservation of social integrity. An individual is recognized as someone who resides and interacts in a family, a community, academy, a religious group, an ethnic group, a political system, and a nation. Individuals recognize social responsibilities, traditional customs, and spiritual group. Individual behavior is influenced by the ability to relate to various social groups, Families often are affected by an individual's illness and hospitalization results in social isolation. Nursing intervention. Helping the individual to preserve his or her place in the family, community, and society. Examples include A. In the case of a pregnant woman scheduled for a cesarean operation, her support system is very important before and after the operation. B. Position patient in bed to foster social interaction with other patients. C. Avoid sensory deprivation. D. Promote patients' use of newspaper, magazines, radio, and TV. E. Provide support and assistance to family. Major concepts of person. It is defined as a holistic being, not only in the physical needs, but also the psychosocial, cultural, and spiritual aspects, who constantly strives to preserve wholeness and integrity, one who is sentient, thinking, future-oriented, and past-aware, a unique individual in unity and integrity, feeling, believing, thinking, and whole system of system, a holistic being who has open and fluid boundaries that coexist with the environment. He is a whole being who is conserved and integral. An example is a patient's anxiety is still present despite the alleviation of pain. Major concepts of the environment. It plays an important role in completing the individual's wholeness, where the individual lives her life. The individual has both an internal and external environment. A. Internal environment combines the physiological and pathophysiological aspects of the individual and is constantly challenged by the external environment. B. External environment is divided into the perceptual, operational, and conceptual environments. Perceptual environment is individuals respond to with their sense organs and includes light, sound, touch, temperature, chemical change that is smelled or tasted, and position, sense, and balance. Operational environment is interacts with living tissue even though the individual does not possess sensory organs that can record the presence of these factors and includes all forms of radiation, microorganisms, and pollutants. In other words, these elements may physically affect individuals but are not perceived by the latter. Conceptual environment consists of language, ideas, symbols, and concepts and inventions and encompasses the exchange of language the ability to think and experience emotion, value systems, religious beliefs, ethnic and cultural traditions, and individual psychological patterns that come from life experiences. Individuals respond to the environmental challenges by means of four integrated processes. The flight or flight mechanism, most primitive response, hospitalization, illness, and new experiences triggers response. An individual may turn away 
quote-unquote flight or face his condition, quote-unquote fight, to assure his safety and well-being. Inflammatory immune response. A way of healing, a defense mechanism to protect self from insult in a hostile environment, uses available energy to remove or keep out unwanted irritants or pathogens. Environmental control is important. Stress response. According to Selye, stress response syndrome is a predictable, non-specifically induced organismic changes, characterized by irreversibility and influences the way patients respond in nursing care. Perceptual awareness. Information-seeking response used by the individual to seek and maintain safety for himself includes the basic orienting, synaptic, auditory, visual, and taste smell systems. Major concepts of nursing. It involves engaging in quote-unquote human interactions rooted on the organic dependency of an individual as well as communications with other human beings. The goal of nursing is to promote wellness. The nurse enters into a partnership of human experience where sharing moments in time, some trivial, some dramatic, leaves its mark forever on each patient. Levine, 1977, page 845. Quote unquote wholeness can be achieved through the use of supportive and therapeutic aspect of caring, a profession as well as an academic discipline that always should be studied and practice along with other health sciences. Human interaction is the focus of nursing. Nurses should also use the nursing process in giving care to their patients. A nurse should have the following goals. Number one, realize that every individual requires a unique and separate cluster of activities. Number two, assist the person, his sole concern to defend and to seek its realization. Three, Make decision through prioritizing course of action. 4. Be aware and be able to contemplate objects, condition, and situation. Number 5. Involve the whole individual. Major concepts of health. The pattern of adaptive change of the whole being, a state of wholeness and not just an absence of disease and successful adaptation and not merely healing of an affected part. Abilities to function normally and able to return to daily activities, selfhood and ability to pursue one's interests without constraints. The significance of the theory in the nursing profession. Levine's conservation theory was developed because she believed that nursing revolves around controlling and preserving the energy resources of the patient. A big factor in the development of this theory was her strong physical science background. With this background, she influenced the practice of nursing through the attainment of the nursing goal, promoting wholeness. A hospital or any setting scenario where the theory can be applied. The theory can be applied to a patient who experienced an accident and is going to need to go into surgery. Before and after the surgery, the patient should go through the four principles of conservation. They should have the conservation of energy because they need to be able to stay healthy and energetic during recovery. Next, they need the conservation of structural integrity to make sure they are clean and healing well from the surgery. They also need the conservation of personal integrity so that they are recovering not only physically, but mentally. Lastly, the patient needs the conservation of social integrity so that before the surgery, they feel supported and not lonely.